Cortisol, the body's main stress hormone, follows a daily rhythm. It should be high in the morning and low at night. Chronic stress, poor sleep, or irregular routines can cause elevated nighttime cortisol, making you feel wired but tired and fragmenting sleep. Systematic reviews show that poor sleep quality increases HPA access reactivity, or more simply said, revs up your body's stress system, which high pre-sleep cortisol predicts less effective sleep. So we know that cortisol impacts sleep and these rhythms are linked to insomnia, metabolic dysfunction, and mood disorders. A practical fix to this is to use stress management techniques like relaxation, mindfulness, regular routines, and to avoid stimulating activities before bed to help reset cortisol rhythms. Number three is blood sugar swings. A lot of people think this is a big problem for them. Sleep and glucose metabolism are tightly linked. High carb dinners or late night snacking can cause blood sugar spikes and drops, which may trigger nighttime awakenings and worsen sleep quality. I often find that stress is a bigger impact here, however, but the American Diabetes Association in many meta-analyses confirmed that both short and long sleep durations, as well as poor quality sleep, are associated with impaired glucose metabolism and increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Your sleep can impact your diabetes risk. So sleep extension, meaning getting more sleep and behavioral interventions can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce energy intake in short sleepers, meaning that this can help overall. Practical fix, favor low glycemic meals, reduce high carb snacking right before bed, aim for about seven and a half to nine hours per night. And if you are tired, 